This story is crazy. So quick recap, someone posts this image on a Google Earth thread. It looks like some kind of giant spider in Antarctica. And then a user named Son of Antonon chimes in and tells the story of his dad who used to be a doctor in McMurdo Station. He realized there were strange things happening, like five mile wide areas that were restricted access and personnel who would come in that were dismembered by what seemed to be from large creatures. We come to find out that there are these prehistoric five-legged spider-like cryptids that were frozen in the ice, which scientists thawed and reanimated, but they got loose and became a straight up menace. And some of these things were growing as large as a several story tall building. Antonon's dad got in trouble with the CEO of the base for snooping, and he was about to be discharged. But the evening before, Jones, this Green Beret he had been counseling, breaks into his room in the middle of the night and puts a leg from one of these creatures on his chest and tells him what's really going on. You see, the morning prior, Jones had gone out on a mission with a squad of 11 other men to a research outpost to the southeast of McMurdo. The team pulls up to the outpost, which is like an office building, and head inside. And what they find inside is pure carnage, with no scientists left alive. They begin to clear the rooms to look for survivors, and out of nowhere, one of these small strider creatures murks one of the green berets, so the whole team just lights it up. And as they make their way through the building, they can see that this place had an international effort going on there between several countries. Eventually, they find stairs to this massive underground lab, and there was this huge cage with a massive strider in it and another one that was busted open where they saw two of these smaller creatures, and according to the story, they were eating children. It seems that there was something far more sinister happening there. The remaining team then exterminated any of the remaining creatures, but Jones also recounted that there were somehow several underground bullet train tunnels with signs saying that they led to different major cities around the world like Hong Kong, Melbourne, New York City, and others. Now, the story ends with Son of Antonon getting a hold of his dad's old Apple computer from the 90s, which may or may not have had some files on it to prove his story, but as with most cases like this, the hard drive apparently no longer worked, and that was the last that we heard from Son of Antonon. So what do you think? Were these Strider creatures real, or is this whole story bogus? I'll leave that up to you to decide, and make sure to leave a comment and follow for more strange stories.